Hi everyone, uh, out at the field today with my uh, newly painted RC Powers F16 version 5. Um, I did a kind of a blue camo paint scheme inspired by a paint scheme I saw for the 64th Aggressor Squadron of the United States Air Force uh, that used the F16 in an aggressor role. Um, throughout my Air Force career I was uh, honoured to get many chances to work with these, uh, uh, this uh, organization. Um, but way back in the day when they actually still flew the F5E Tiger II and then later before I retired the F-16 uh, worked with them at uh, Red Flag and Maple Flag here so I put the crest on the back there just for a little uh, nostalgia for me so uh, anyway enough of that walk down memory lane let's uh, let's see what kind of fun we can have today So a beautiful calm day today. <laughs> very, uh, very responsive uh, little airplane. The F-16 version 5. Tracks really, really well. So I'm just going to get her cranked, well let's bring her by for a close pass first. <laughs> burners, burners, go. So I'm at full throttle here, tracks beautifully true, you know I don't have any issues with the nose uh, wandering around there really just carves up the sky. Nice smooth loop, we'll just kick her over with the rudder there. Nice, I think I might need a little more throw on my rudder, but we'll play around with that. I think I've got about 45 flights on this plane now. A little yank. Not sure if I've got a 9G turn like the real F-16, but what the heck, eh? <laughs> Little fighter pilot work out there. <laughs> nice. Nice crisp rolls. I think I mentioned in my last video, I found that I did the elevons on this plane are are uh, are a bit small, so I've I've got quite a bit of throw in both the uh, in the pitch or sorry in the the roll of the uh, roll element of the elevons and the ailerons to uh, to get you know fairly crisp rolls out of it more more than what I use on some other planes, but it uh, it responds really really well in turns and in rolls. I'm just using the Turnigy 2200 uh, motor here with the ma Master Air Screw 6x4x3 prop. So it, uh, it skips along pretty nicely uh, even after painting. I think I'm still around maybe 20 and a half ounces, under 21 anyway. Okay, so my alarm just went off. Let's uh, bring her by here. It'll just chop the power. F-16 version 5, it just glides uh, just beautifully. That sort of flat bottom on it really uh, really helps give it, uh, you know, more lift. So when it's gliding and, uh, you know, even when you're flying it, it, uh, it gives it a little, uh, reduces the wing loading a little bit. So, uh, yeah, really, uh, really happy with this little plane. Uh, it's, uh, I, I find, me personally anyway, I find it's best on more of a calmer day. Uh, I find if there's a little bit of a breeze that it uh, can be a little trickier to fly. So I'm not sure if you can see there. So that you can see the uh, elevons aren't real big. I don't need a whole lot of throw in the uh, in the pitch, but I've got probably equal throw. I think I'm about three quarters, maybe an inch of throw 
in the uh, roll on my uh, aileron ailerons and elevons there to uh, get it around. I think the this you know the sort of single fin and maybe even those little ventral fins on the bottom uh, slow the roll down a little bit. But anyway, it's fun to get it dialed in. So uh, thanks very much for watching, folks. Uh, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Uh, park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.